I'm totally sitting on top of my Christmas tree right now. <laughs> what the fuck is up, my britches? If you are new here, hello and welcome to Britchmas. Today is going to be day five. In the month of December, I'm doing every other day uploads and I will always upload at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If I'm not uploading, I will be doing live streams as well. So if you guys like either of those, if you like beauty content, I'm kind of expanding my horizons as well. So I'll be doing some try on hauls, clean with me's, declutters, all that sort of shit. But in today's video, it's time for a throwback video because I've been doing these lives a lot lately. I really like doing these lives, but we're going to be doing another yes or <sighs> yawn. So these videos, if you're new here, these were inspired from Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. It's basically our time to just sit down and bullshit about if we're interested in new makeup or not. And normally we have cocktails, but today, I'm drinking a pre-workout because not to work out, but to get through my overnight shift tonight. So, and I'm going to leave a link to Samantha's channel down below. I just think she is such like a precious little gem on YouTube. Everybody needs to go check her out. I'm sure a lot of you guys that follow me follow Samantha as well, but I just love her so much. I want to meet her so badly one day. So I'll leave a link to her channel down below. And if you guys like her content, which I love it, Make sure you guys subscribe to her channel and show her support because I know she's having a really hard time lately because people are getting unsubscribed from her channel. So if you guys were following her, make sure you guys are checking that you are still subscribed to her as well because I know she's going through it with YouTube right now. So go check her out and I will also leave a link to her community playlist down below as well. It is just basically a playlist flooded with a bunch of creators that do these types of videos. I found a ton of creators that I've fallen in love with through that playlist. I'll leave both of those down below along with the um, Instagram accounts that I refer to with these videos. Trend Mood One, Hot Fire Makeup, and Beauty Deals BFF. So it's been a minute since I've done one of these videos, so I'm sure we have lots to talk about. But the first thing I wanna mention is I just got my Cleona Cosmetics order, and I'm so fucking excited about this. So be prepared for a new video coming soon with these because these look glorious. So I'm so excited. I've been waiting for a while. Multi-chromes glittery shadows like I'm so fucking excited so that will be coming soon but let me scooch over because I'm sitting on top of my tree right now and I'm going to just pull up all the pictures of the products that I'm talking about and please let me know in the comments if you guys prefer when I do it this way or live streams because I've been doing these lives a lot I kind of like these because I could show the picture while I'm talking about it so you guys kind of know what I'm talking about but in the same breath I do love lives because we're actually having the conversation like are we interested are we not it's just it's just fun I really love live streams that's why you've been seeing so many of them on my channel lately. All right, so the first thing that I'll talk about is this new collection from MAC Cosmetics. This looks like the MAC Chinese New Year's collection. This looks so aesthetically pleasing. I'm still waiting for MAC to do a Beauty and the Beast collection. Like, how did that never happen? I don't understand why I would have bought the entire collection because if you don't know, if you're new here, I'm obsessed with Beauty and the Beast. I love it so much. So I thought for sure they were going to do a collection of Beauty and the Beast when the like new movie came out, but it never did. But this collection does look beautiful. So it looks like they're gonna have, I don't know if they're liquid lipsticks or lip glasses. It looks like they're gonna have a highlighter, an eyeshadow palette, lipsticks, a little blush, almost like a duo. This doesn't have any like pricing information yet, but the highlighter is what I'm eyeing the most. Do I think I'll actually buy this though? Probably not because I'm not really purchasing limited edition products and something like this would be considered limited edition. I'm choosing to do that because the reality is I don't need any more fucking makeup. I have so much. So what I'm trying to spend my money on is the stuff that I'm genuinely interested in that I could use long term. I'll still buy limited edition products if I'm that like into it, like Beauty and the Beast, I'll probably buy everything. But something like this, I know I couldn't use it long term unless they do announce they're like permanent shades, but with the limited edition packaging, you know what I mean? But the only thing that I'm really interested in would be the highlighter just because I love highlighters. But the eyeshadow palette, I'm not interested in that. It just kind of looks boring to me. The lipsticks, it looks like a bright red lipstick, which that's not something that I ever would wear. I always go for like a liquid lipstick with deeper colors like that. Um, the blush duo looks nice, but MAC blushes aren't my favorite either. I don't know, I feel like MAC just needs to do like a drastic change or something because every time they launch something lately, I'm just so bored with it. So I am not interested in this collection, but I'm interested to know what highlighter that is because that highlighter looks beautiful. It looks like a like champagne gold highlighter and I'm just into it. But the reality is I have so many champagne gold highlighters. 
I don't need a new one. Next thing I want to talk about is this Sephora Favorites Complexion custom foundation set. This little trio is gonna come with a Too Faced Born This Way foundation, a Becca mini shimmering skin perfecter in either topaz, champagne pop, or vanilla quartz, and also a Fenty Beauty mini perfecter and pro filter instant retouch setting powder in either nutmeg, cashew, or butter. Now this is something I would be interested in because I love the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I just used it again the other day for the first time in forever and I'm like, why did I stop using this foundation? And I know the one that I have is so fucking old. So this I would actually be very interested in because it comes with a full size foundation and you get basically the two minis for free. I love that foundation, like I said, and I've actually never tried the Fenty Beauty, um, like the perfecting powder. So I'm interested to try that. I would be curious to see how big these little sample sizes are though. And then I already know that I love the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. The only thing that kind of turns me off about it is I already have the Becca products. I already have all three of those shades in my collection. So do I think I'm gonna get this? Probably not just because the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, it feels like it's always on sale now. But I do really like the set. Like if you've been eyeing the foundation, I would say that this would be a good grab especially for getting the two like mini sizes for the same price as the foundation. I just cannot say enough good things about that foundation. I really love it. And I also really love the um, Becca highlighters as well. Champagne pop would be my favorite. Vanilla quartz, I would say would be better if you're like a light, like fair light skin tone. Champagne pop would be like light medium to medium skin tone. And then the topaz would be if you're like medium tan, I would say or deep to dark complexion. So I really do like this. I like that it's customizable. I think there needs to be more of these out there because it's a nice way to try new products, but it's also a nice way to restock one of your favorite foundations if this is one of your favorites. I've heard so many people, it's like a love it or hate it type of foundation. I love it. I think it's so natural on the skin. I really like the finish on it. It's like an all day wear foundation for me. This is, I'm telling you, one of my favorite foundations in my collection. And I was like, why did I stop using this foundation? Because it's that good. I really do love it. Next thing I want to talk about is a new brush collection coming from Real Techniques. It's going to be the Easy 1, 2, 3 collection. It's going to have five brushes. They're all going to be $6.98 a piece, and they're going to be available online for Walmart. Um, it looks like they're going to have a foundation brush, two eyeshadow brushes, a highlight brush, and also a blush brush. Again, $6.98, or the entire collection is going to be $22.34. These, I just don't like the aesthetic of them. I don't like that the bristles are pink. I don't like the structure of like the handle. I like when they come to a nice taper. That's just what's comfortable for me. Um, these do look a little bit like chunky. I don't know. They just overall aren't my aesthetic. They aren't my vibe, but I like the price point of them. I think $6.98 for a, a brush is a really good price. And then a, for a full collection of five brushes for $22.34, like the price is right on these. There's just too much that I don't like aesthetically about them. But from what I hear, Real Techniques does have really nice brushes. I've just never tried them because I don't like the aesthetic of them. I just really like, like I said, like the tapered handles. And I don't think they've ever done that. Maybe for like limited edition brushes. But these just, again, they're not my vibe. The price point's my vibe, but I just don't like the look of these, so I would not be interested in these. Uh, next thing we could talk about is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It looks like he's going to have a highlighter palette. Um, it's going to be the Peppermint Frost Highlighter Palette. Jeffree Star Cosmetics is actually going on my timeout list for 2020, at least for right now. I just don't love how he's been treating his customers. I don't like that he's blocking people on Twitter for voicing opinions, myself included, I am blocked by him. I just think overall he doesn't really appreciate his consumers, so I don't wanna support a brand like that until I see a change. I'm not like never buying from him again or anything like that, but it's just a choice that I'm making for 2020. There's so many other brands that are deserving of my dollar, so I'm just not interested in this because of that mainly. And then I'm also not interested because all the swatches on these kind of look the same. So I'm just overall not interested. I like that they have like the marble effect in them. I think it's really cute. Overall, he's just on my timeout list. So that's why I'm not going to be buying this little highlighter palette. Next thing I wanna talk about is from Batty B Lashes. They're coming out with synthetic lashes. Looks like they're gonna have three styles. They're gonna have Snob, Baby Doll, and Plastic. I don't think there's a price on these yet, at least that I've seen. I love Batty B Lashes. I think they're such high quality lashes for I mean, they're expensive. They're gonna be $19 for their like mink lashes, their 3D minks. 
But for these, I haven't seen a price on them, but they look beautiful. I really like the packaging that the originals come in. I think they have really good turnaround for shipping, but I'm very excited to see that they're expanding to synthetic lashes. So that makes me very excited. That probably means that they'll be less expensive as well. I'm not one of those people that is very judgmental like on mink or synthetic or anything like that. The main thing that I like about these lashes is they're very long lasting because they're very high quality lashes for a more affordable price. Like for their 3D minks, normally they're like $30 lashes from other companies or at least like 25. The fact that they're 19, I think they're more affordable. They're still, I mean, they're still expensive for being false lashes, let's be honest, but they last me so long like they're my favorite lashes in my collection so i'm very excited to see that they're expanding further the next thing i want to talk about is the wayne goss holiday brush i would normally be so into this but his brushes always sell out so fast and i already have a fan brush like this that i already love which is the sephora i think it's the pro featherweight fan i love that brush this reminds me a lot of that but i think this is going to be a natural hair brush it's going to be a big fan brush for highlighting, bronzing, contouring. It's going to be handcrafted in Japan. Limited edition, like I said, and it will be available December 12th online at Beautylish. I don't see a price on this yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be like probably high 40s at least. His brushes are more expensive, but the quality from what I hear is there. I have the Wayne Goss 05 brush. This is another brand that I want to try from. I know he's coming out with more makeup. That's one brand that's on my list for 2020. I don't like these limited edition brushes because I feel bad when I use them because people always ask like, oh, what brush is it? They want to buy it and they can't because it's limited edition. But if this comes back as like a permanent item, I would be into this because I love these types of brushes for bronzing my face. All right, so the next thing is going to be this Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife collection. Okay, I'm not interested in this because you have to buy the entire collection. It's going to be a four piece eye, cheek, and lip set and it comes with a makeup bag for $69. Now, I don't love the fact that this is like a collection. I wish that they made it so you could buy them individually just because so many people probably already bought Trophy Wife, like the highlighter slash eyeshadow. The main thing that I would be interested in this collection would be the gloss bombs, but I'm not gonna buy an entire collection of a bunch of products that I will, let's face it, never use. If they were to sell these all individually, I would think more about getting the gloss bomb, but this still would probably be like a shade that I would never wear. Again, I just don't love the fact that they're selling it as an entire collection when they've already released the, um, like the pressed highlighter. So I'm not interested in it, especially for that $69 price tag. I don't care if I have a like $25 off $75 purchase. That's just not at all a product that I would be interested in. So I'm going to pass over that. I don't know, like scrolling through, there's like nothing original. Oh, this was one thing that somebody commented that they wanted me to talk about was the new Pat McGrath and Star Wars collection. What the fuck is this? Like this to me just makes no sense whatsoever. Pat McGrath to me in my mind is just like a luxury makeup brand. When I think of luxury makeup brands, I don't foresee them collabing with, with like anybody, influencers, other brands. I don't know. It just, when I saw this, I'm like, what the fuck is this? It just doesn't make sense to me when I look at these just palettes because there's going to be a big mothership palette, the two mini palettes, and then lip balms. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. I just don't think Pat McGrath needs to like almost like stoop to this level. The big palette's going to be $125, so same price point as all of her other ones. The mini palettes are gonna be $65, the lip balms are gonna be $40. She's never done collabs before. It just, again, it makes no sense to me. This to me just seems like a cash grab to get those like Star Wars lovers, which I'm not one of those people. I love Disney, but I'm just not into Star Wars. That's just the vibe that I get and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's talk about the fact that Laura Mercier is gonna be available at Ulta. That's very exciting. Anytime that I see brands that are gonna be available at Ulta, I get excited because that's my favorite retailer because I love their point system. And I also love the Laura Mercier translucent powder, so I'm excited that I'm going to be able to purchase that at Ulta now. So I will be purchasing Laura Mercier at Ulta going forward. All right, next thing, let's talk about the Glow Recipe. This is going to be the, what is it? The Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. It's going to be for calming and hydrating, and it's going to be like a lightweight moisturizer with a banana, I'm assuming, scent to it because, I mean, Banana Souffle, why wouldn't it be? Um, $39, this is going to be a clean beauty brand and cruelty-free, vegan, all that good stuff that a lot of people are looking for right now. I would normally be very interested in this, but I just purchased like a full size of my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. 
I would be curious to purchase this when I run out of that just to see if it's another product that I would like. Overall, like it looks like it would be my jam. I haven't found really anything from Glow Recipe that I love yet. If anything, I feel like their products aren't moisturizing enough for me, but I'm always interested in moisturizing products, especially this time of year because I'm so dry right now. So if you've tried this product, let me know what you think about it. I don't even know if this is out yet. Ooh, let's talk about the drunk elephant. It's going to be called the F-bomb. <laughs> I might need it just because of the name. It's going to be a super moisturizing overnight face mask. Yes, bitch. The fact that it's a super moisturizing overnight face mask, give that to me. I love overnight face masks. They're some of my favorite skincare products. $52. I know it's very expensive. Drunk Elephant typically is. This has a similar packaging to the TLC Sakari Baby Facial. That's one of my favorite skincare products of all time. I'm totally into this. I really love overnight face masks, like I said, especially for hydrating. Um, the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, that's one of my favorites. So I would actually be very excited to try this because that's just like my type of skincare product, especially right now. I'm into it, I'm excited. So if this is, is this out yet? Oh, this is going to be available January 1st. It's going to be online at Sephora. Um, it doesn't say if it's going to be in store, which I'm sure it will be, but it doesn't say when. So online, January 1st, that's definitely going on my list because I want to try that. Okay, let's talk about Kesha Rose Beauty. Now, I heard Teresa's dead talk about this line, and I was just like, you fucking nailed it for me. <laughs> so when I think of Kesha, I do not think of her makeup. If anything, I think of her as somebody that just left Coachella. Like her makeup just never really looks like fresh and I never like aspire to have her makeup looks. You know what I mean? So whenever I see these celebrity makeup lines, I always want the collection to kind of reflect who they are. And when I saw, cause they're going to have an eyeshadow palette, um, like a lipstick and lip gloss duo, and then a dual ended liner. When I saw this collection, I could totally see this being that Kesha would wear something like this, you know? So I wasn't like pissed. Like I'm not ever pissed when celebrities come out with lines as long as they're good makeup. And when I saw the price point on these, I was impressed with the eyeshadow palette. It's going to be $36. Um, the dual ended liner is going to be 28. And then the lipstick and lip gloss duo is going to be 26 or the entire collection is going to be $120. I don't know. I guess my thing is I'm always intrigued by these celebrity makeup lines because I want to know, like, are they actually good? You know what I mean? Because again, like Kesha is not known for her makeup. Like when I think of KKW beauty, like Kim Kardashian, that is a line to me that makes total sense because she is known for her makeup. You know, when I first saw house laboratories, like I didn't ever think that Lady Gaga was known for her makeup. If anything, I thought it made more sense for her to collaborate with Marc Jacobs just because she was always wearing Marc Jacobs beauty. Like that would have been a collaboration that made total sense. So when I saw this, I'm like, okay, but I want to know if it's good. So the main thing that I would be interested in would be the eyeshadow palette, but I don't, I don't know if I'll buy it unless you guys are interested in a review on it. I'm interested because I like the price point of it. It's got a nice shade range in it. I don't really like the layout of it. I love the packaging. Like the packaging looks really pretty. It's very Kesha. Like to me, this collection, I guess, reflects Kesha, which is one thing that I do really like about it. I just don't need eyeshadow palettes right now. That's where I'm like, that's I think the only thing that's holding me back right now. But the lipstick and gloss duo, I don't like buying duos like that, especially from brands that I've never tried before or just formulas. I wish they were like individually. I would have been very interested to try a lip gloss. Dual ended liner, I don't need one. I don't wear like liquid liner often. So the main thing that I'm interested in is the eyeshadow palette. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. Okay, the last thing I wanna talk about because I'm quite frankly running out of light and I'm like beaming from this ring light right now. The Morphe and Manny MUA collection, okay? I'm gonna keep like all of my feelings on this brand specifically out of this, but I wanted to talk about this because these collaborations don't make fucking sense. I know that they're doing these collaborations because they're quick cash grabs, okay? They're probably contracted and like this has probably been a contracted agreement for years now at this point, but it never happened because of Dramageddon and all that shit. So now it's been some time, everything's passed. Let's get that money, honey. And this is where I wanted to talk about it because I know people are gonna buy this collection because they wanna support Manny. If you wanna support Manny, buy from Lunar Beauty. He has 
high quality products. His products are amazing. His eyeshadow palettes, his moon prism powders. Like you guys hear me talk about this stuff so much because they're worth their price. I would not suggest sacrificing quality product. Like save your $20 that you would spend on this eyeshadow palette and highlighter palette and save it to support his brand where he's going to benefit more than just getting a percentage of this collection that probably not much time and effort went into it. If you wanna support Manny, support Lunar Beauty because they're quality products and they're worth their price, okay? I understand that some people might not want to spend, I think his palettes are like $46, his Moon Prism powders are like 20 plus dollars, but they're on sale all the time. Support Lunar Beauty where he's gonna benefit more than just this collaboration that was probably just thrown together. Like it's so easy to do a favorites collection for a discounted price when they're subpar quality products. Lunar Beauty is high quality products. The Moon Prism powders, the eyeshadow palettes, you've heard me rave about them. Like Lunar Beauty has amazing quality products. I just want to reiterate, if you wanna support Manny MUA because I feel like that's why people just buy these collections, and these brands know that, and that's why they're collaborating with other brand owners. This collaboration would have made more sense before Lunar Beauty was created. The brush set, I would say, makes sense because he is always using Morphe brushes. He's an affiliate, he's been an affiliate for years, but it's just like the Glam Face Palette, I would not suggest anybody buy that. I'm not interested in it, but I just wanted to reiterate, like if you wanna support these people, save that money and spend it towards their brand specifically. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys do or don't like it, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up or down. Subscribe if you like me and my videos. And I hope to see you guys on hump day. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Peace.